Hi, this is Kale Clark with the Faith Explained Institute and thefaithexplained.com. We have arrived at the apex of Holy Week. It is Holy Thursday, the beginning of the Sacred Tritium. And tonight we celebrate the Mass of the Lord's Supper on what is known as Maundy Thursday. Now, why Maundy? Well, the word Maundy means commandment. And this is where Jesus says in today's gospel text from John chapter 13, a new commandment I give you to love one another as I have loved you. And Jesus, of course, demonstrates this servant's heart of love by washing the feet of his apostles, something that only the lowliest servant would do. And here is the Lord of the universe doing exactly that. We should do likewise. Okay, we know this. We also know that tonight is the Mass of the Lord's Supper, which means that we commemorate this night when Jesus instituted not only the Mass, but also the New Covenant priesthood to celebrate the Eucharist throughout time. Jesus says in Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and also in St. Paul uh, in the Corinthian letters, and that's our second reading today, do this in remembrance of me. This is my body. This is my blood. And as the Council of Trent once said, anybody who doesn't think that Jesus instituted the priesthood when he said this, do this in remembrance of me, should be anathema. Okay, no, I don't want to drop the hammer like that, but I just want to say that that is in fact true. And what are they supposed to do? They're supposed to do the mass. In remembrance of me, in the original tongue, it's actually much stronger. It's the term anamnesis, which means to make present. We are made present. It's like we're transported back in time to these salvific events of Jesus' passion his death, his burial, and his resurrection. They're made present to us, or we're made present to them in a mystical way at the Mass. It really is Jesus' body and blood that is being consecrated. So there is that. But I also want to talk about John's Gospel text from John 13. Now, John doesn't have an institution narrative of the Eucharist in his Gospel, but that doesn't mean that he doesn't reference the founding of the New Covenant priesthood. It's really interesting that bush, that foot washing scene does come into play again. If you know your Old Testament, you might recall this from the book of Leviticus. And this talks about the Day of Atonement. And it talks about the great high priest Aaron and what he did. And in Leviticus 16, uh, starting at verse 23, and I'm reading this, by the way, from the beautiful Augustine Bible from the Augustine Institute. It says, Then Aaron shall come into the tent of meeting and shall take off the linen garments that he put on, when he went into the holy place and shall leave them there. And he shall bathe his body in water in a holy place and then put on his garments and come out and offer his burnt offering and the burnt offering of the people and make atonement for himself and for the people. It's very interesting. Aaron lays down his garments as high priest, bathes himself, puts his garments back on, and then goes out and offers the atoning sacrifice. What does Jesus do in John 13, in tonight's gospel reading? He takes off his garments, he lays them aside, and then he doesn't bathe himself, but what does he do? He washes the feet of his apostles. That's very interesting because the rabbis taught when interpreting this passage from Leviticus that it wasn't necessary anymore for the high priest to bathe himself completely before offering the sacrifice. All he had to do was make sure his hands, and guess what? His feet were clean and remained so before the sacrifice. So Jesus doesn't wash himself. He doesn't wash his own feet, but he does wash the apostles' feet. And then what does he do? He then goes out and make, puts his garments back on, and he goes out to make the atoning sacrifice at Calvary. Very interesting. So in washing the apostles' feet, it means that Jesus agrees with these rabbis' interpretations that he is allowing his apostles to share in his high priesthood and share in making present this atoning sacrifice, which we commemorate in the Eucharist. For the Faith Explained Institute, this is Kale Clark.